Annie Dalton for president. The Carolina Panthers defeat the Las Vegas Raiders 36 to 22. I'm going to say it again. The Carolina Panthers defeat the Las Vegas Raiders 36 to 22, their first win of the brand new regular season. This was a great game to watch if you are a Carolina Panthers fan. I have been saying it all week long. You guys can go back and watch and listen to the videos that the Carolina Panthers have talent with Adam Thielen, who left today's game early. Deontay Johnson, a very good wide receiver in his own right, a true number one, and Xavier Leggett, who who they selected in the first round as well. All those guys went out there and they balled out. Adam Thielen did leave with a hamstring injury. He did not return to the game. Hopefully he can be back by next week. But when you look at Andy Dalton, with the first two drives, he did more than Bryce Young has done in the last two games. On the day, Andy Dalton was 26 of 37 for 319 passing yards, three passing touchdowns to zero interceptions. That's the key, zero interceptions. You see what a solid quarterback can do for you? I told you guys this. When you put in a veteran quarterback that can push the ball down the field and can hit the open guys, it opens up the entire offense. They had a run game to the, today. The Carolina Panthers have not been able to run the football with Bryce Young because teams stacked the box. Chuba Hubbard had 21 carries for 114 rushing yards. Miles Sanders had a rushing touchdown today as well. And Chuba Hubbard had a receiving touchdown coming out of the backfield near the goal line. Deontay Johnson had eight Catches for 122 receiving yards, one receiving touchdown. Xavier Leggett, two catches for 42 receiving yards. Adam Thielen had a 31-yard deep bomb touchdown receiving. That went for a touchdown. He hurt his hamstring. He was not able to return. The offensive weapons look better because you have a quarterback that can scratch the field. And guess what? When you don't always deal with three and outs and deal with turnovers, the defense looks better as well. I'm not saying that Bryce Young never deserves to step back on the field with the Carolina Panthers, but he should not step back on the field for the rest of this season as long as Andy Dalton is healthy. I do expect for this team to come back to earth offensively, but Andy Dalton is the best option for them. With Andy Dalton at the quarterback position, the Panthers can go out there and they can be a solid team in this division. I don't think that they can go out there and still win this division, but they can be a solid contender. They can be a team that can go out there and they can be competitive. That's what they can be. Within the first two drives, you saw how good this offense can be with Dave Canales and Andy Dalton. And imagine what they can do if they had a top five, the top 10 quarterback. It sucks what happened to Bryce Young. Yes. But you guys should, should go back and see the comments of people still trying to take up for Bryce Young. The national media made it seem like he had no offensive line protection, no weapons. Today, those weapons look great. Today, the offensive line looked very good. Andy Dalton get, did get sacked twice, but he knows how to navigate inside the pocket. He has good poise. He has things that Bryce Young doesn't have. And I understand he's a veteran. He's been in the NFL for years now. He got drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals. I understand that. He spent time with the New Orleans Saints. He spent time with the Dallas Cowboys. He's a solid quarterback option week to week. He may not play this good, but you look at the weapons that are on this roster. Even Tommy Tremble has turned into becoming a solid receiving tight end. This offensive line, they went out there, they brought in two brand new offensive guards. Damian Lewis, you have Austin Corbett at the center position. Robert Hunt at the other guard position. Taylor Moden. Icky at the left tackle position. They have players. And I've been telling you guys this for the last couple of years. The weapons have not been that bad. Especially this offseason. This was the best offseason for the Carolina Panthers in terms of going out there and bringing in talent to help out a quarterback. And when I look at this defense as well, they played better because they did not have to be on the field as much. The Carolina Panthers were losing time of possession the last two games due to turnovers by the offense and due, due to drop passes as well. They had the football for 36 minutes today to the Las Vegas Raiders, 24 minutes. They had 437 total yards on the day. They did have seven penalties. You want to clean that up. But they were able to get pressure on Gardner Minshew and they walked away with an interception as well. You have a cornerback by the name of Michael Jackson. He was moonwalking today. He got an interception. He looked very good. J.C. Horn looked very good against Devontae Adams because they could catch their breath. 
They can catch a breather. They don't have to be on the field as much. That is what solid quarterback play can do for you. I'm telling you guys, if they continue to put Andy Dalton out there, I don't, I'm not saying they're going to go out there and make a playoff push. I'm not saying they're going to go out there and defeat the New Orleans Saints or beat a team like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers or compete the Atlanta Falcons. But you're better off with this veteran than you are with Bryce Young right now. And I still do believe that Bryce Young has a future in the NFL. But that future is not right now. This was a great win if you're a Carolina Panthers fan, and I am happy for the Carolina Panthers for them to finally get a win up on the board. We saw this last season as well with Andy Dalton. He went out there against the Seattle Seahawks. Yes, they lost that football game, but he looked good in that system. And that was the same Carolina Panthers team that only had one valuable option in Adam Thielen. Andy Dalton knows how to read NFL defenses. You can't confuse him at the line of scrimmage. He helps the offensive line with offensive line protection duties. Bryce Young wasn't doing any of that. It was the little things that you notice of him calling out the blitz, him pointing out defenders. Bryce Young was not doing that because he is still early into his career. But Andy Dalton recognized all of that. He even audible a play in the red zone to give the football to the running back. He counts out a play. And Dave Canales has done great work in the past with quarterbacks like Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold. This is a veteran quarterback that has a strong arm, has good accuracy, and has good poise inside the pocket. This was a very good win. This win was so good, they had Jadevian Clowney looking good as well. He walked away with a sack. The front seven was able to go out there. They stopped the run. And this is a Raiders team. They have a lot of weapons. They have Devontae Adams. They have Brock Bowers, who right now entering this game was rated as the top receiving tight end in the NFL. They did a very good job against him as well. Give them credit. Give the Raiders a lot of credit. They went out there and they made Trey Tucker be the number one wide receiver who had a very good game. He had 96 receiving yards on the day. But they did a good job of taking away Devontae Adams and Brock Bowers. And next thing you know, Gardner Minshew is trying to make his read. Pressure's in his face. They pressured the quarterback very well today. Give Coach E a lot of credit to the defensive coordinator. He did a very good job of game playing today. But this was an amazing win. I saw this game all the way through. The first couple of drives, I knew something special was going to happen with the Carolina Panthers in this game. Hopefully they can get they can get some consistency there with Andy Dalton and the wide receivers. I would like to see more out of Xavier Leggett. We got to see glimpses today because eventually they plan on him being the number one guy. Adam Thielen is older, but he can still give you very good production. Deontay Johnson, he's on a one-year deal. He's looking to go out there and be a top wide receiver yet again. And I told you guys about this as well. Last season, he put up very good numbers with playing with Kenny Pickett, Mitch Trubisky, and Mason Rudolph. He had over 700 receiving yards, and he missed a couple games last year dealing with a hamstring injury. He's a true number one. He can make moves behind the line of scrimmage. They came out, they stacked the box, they hit play action, and Andy Dalton made them pay. That is going to be the formula moving forward. If this offensive line can protect Andy Dalton and he can continue to be accurate inside the pocket and he, and he can keep that poise, the Panthers can win more football games this season than they won last season. And I can guarantee you that. But at the end of the day, it was a great win for the Panthers. I'm happy for Dave Canales. He gets his first win as a head coach in the NFL. So many people in the national media kill David Tepper. They're not going to walk it back because this doesn't fit their narrative, but I'll walk it back. Shout out to the general manager. David Tepper is still a terrible owner, by the way, over the last couple of years. But I'll give him credit for this win. Give everyone credit for this win. But if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. And let me know how you guys feel about this win in the comment section below. Most importantly, when each and every last one of you guys is safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. God bless. Peace.